class. In this video, I'm going to show you how to collect wound measurements, and I'm also going to show you how to collect a wound culture. So um, before doing your wound measurements, the wound needs to be cleaned. So whatever solution you're cleaning with, um, you want to go ahead and clean with that solution. Most likely it's normal saline, or do your irrigation first if, it's, if irrigation is ordered for the wound. Um, and then after the wound is cleaned, that's when you um, want to take your measurements in your culture, okay? So, I have my tape measure here. So you always want to measure in centimeters. And you want to use the clock as a reference. So the patient's head is always going to be at 12 o'clock and their feet is always going to be at 6 o'clock, okay? So if this person was lying down, their head would be this way and their feet would be that way. Okay, so I'm going to measure from head to toe for my length. So you're going to take your measurement tool and measure from the very top of the wound to the bottommost part of the wound. So on this wound, you can see that there's some eschar here on the tip. So I want to go all the way down to that eschar because that's going to give me the proper measurement for my length. And that is included in the wound measurement, okay? So you want to put that right up against the wound, but you don't want to touch the inside of the wound bed. And you want to get your measurement. So it looks like this is about 10 centimeters in length because I measured all the way to the tip of this eschar from top to bottom. Then to measure your width, you want to go from side to side the widest parts. So the widest part, again, would be at the tip of this eschar, okay? So I want to take my measurement, and I want to go all the way to the tip of that eschar and to the farthest point on this side, which is going to be right here in this corner. This is the furthest part on that side, the width. So I would take that, start there, and then move my way downward to measure to the tip of that eschar. And so my measurement is 8.5 centimeters. Okay, so that's how you get your width. To get your depth, you have to get a sterile cotton tip applicator. And you just go straight in to the deepest part of the wound. Straight in. So depth is always directly into the wound to the deepest part, okay? So I would go right here to the middle because as you can see, there's some bone exposed there. So that's the deepest part of my wound. So I want to go all the way in to that, to that point of the bone and measure that as my, my uh, depth. So what I want to do is I'll have my, ster my sterile cotton tipped applicator straight in and wherever it's coming to the edge of the wound, that's going to be my measurement. So let me show you what I mean. I have my sterile applicator. I go straight into the wound bed to the deepest part to the bone. And then I'm going to take my measurement tool to see where that stops on the outside. So that's going to be right about there. If you take your measurement up against the applicator on the outside, and then you take your fingers and hold that point, okay? So this is going to be the measurement for my depth. I'm going to measure that part that went all the way in. And it looks like it's about three centimeters, all right? There's also some tunneling in this wound, and that also has to be measured. So I would get a new sterile cotton-tipped applicator, okay? So I have a new one here. And I'm going to go straight into the tunneling and measure the, that. So my tunneling is over here in the corner. Measure it out to the edge of the wound there. And then take that measurement with your, measure, with your tool, measurement tool. And that's about three and a half centimeters. There's also undermining on this wound up here in its top. So I would discard this applicator. Get a new one, okay, and then I'm going to go right into the deepest
this part of the undermining, and sometimes you just have to poke around a little bit. It might be uncomfortable for the patient, but we have to get those measurements. So it looks like the deepest part is right here at the top. Measure that out to the edge of the wound and put that against your measurement tool. And it looks like it's about two and a half centimeters. All right, so that's how you obtain your measurements for wounds. Now, getting your wound culture. You need a sterile culturette collection like this. Um, and there is some medium at the bottom that needs to be broken. And I'll show you how to do that after you collect your specimen. You open your applicator. And you want to take the top off of the sterile holder. You loosen it up a little bit. Don't take it all the way off, but just kind of twist it to loosen it up so that you can easily just place your culturette into there, into the tube once you're done. You want to keep the inside sterile and you don't want to touch your applicator. You want to keep that sterile as well. So you want to get every part of the wound bed and you just want to do a complete swipe of every area. So I'm going to start here and come all the way up, work my way around under that undermining. And as you go along, you want to twirl, twirl your cotton tipped applicator and try your best not to touch the outside of the wound bed. If you do, you're going to have to start over. You get the whole wound bed. And I'm even going down here into the tunneling. But you want to go down there last. All right? So take that. Then you can just pull this top off because you've already loosened it and just stick this straight in. And then this culturette goes down to the lab. So you want to put a label with the patient's name on it, um, their MRIN record number, um, the time you collect it, and the spot that you collected it from, and the date. Um, and then before you send it down to the lab, you have to break this culturette there at the bottom. It'll pop, and that activates the test to work. 